Well, Garland here. It's Saturday evening. I don't know. 4.30, getting on here to 5 o'clock. Well, we didn't see no snow today, and we don't want to see no snow today. But it's been raining all day. And things are kind of flooded looking around here. Water laying everywhere. Ah. <laughs> that there's a field there that I call. I always say that ditch got that field's got 40 ditches anyway because it's so flat in there. Water runs across it everywhere because it's pretty flat. Water comes from both directions down through there. So anyway, old girl in there. Saturday evening. January the what the seventh? Ah, maybe it's the sixth. Yeah, probably January the 6th. Old girl in here. It rained last Saturday and flooded everything around here. And what's this, Tuesday? It's wet out there today. I went out to feed some cows and it was raining so hard, I decided to come back to the house. Come back to the house and cancel the day and make tomorrow another day. But it's wet out there. Yeah, the water's up this morning. The farm is a, a lake. Usually does that the day after the rain because uh, it all flows down from Warrington. By the time it gets down here, it dams up at the bridge. This farm over here, y'all seen it before. It floods constantly every time there's a big mass of rain. And it floods all the way around the whole farm like that. Um, the, uh, the current owner had dump truck loads of dirt hauled in there for days on end weeks and months on end to build up enough uh, build up enough high ground in there around the farm there that at least when the next massive disaster comes along um, there's at least some high ground that the cows can get up on they, he built it up in there about 10 feet on the uh on the one side there, um, you know, north side of, or the west side of the barn there, you can't really see it, but it's 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 raised up quite a bit. Some people had a bunch of issues about him doing that, but I mean, when you own a bottom, when you own a river bottom that's pretty much underwater all the time, you got to have somewhere for the cows to go. You know, ain't no, the rest of us, the rest of us completely understand, but some people don't get it. I mean, what are you going to do? Haul 100, 100 cows out of there in the, in the middle of a torrential downpour? No, you're going to have a bunch of dead cows. And that happens anyways, down in there. So... You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Catch y'all later. Alright, January 10th. I got this bigger black calf down here. Got a white face. And three red, three red babies. Pretty much here, the closest, about the same size. One, two, three, four. That is five kills down here that I know about. There you go. 
Uh, Dad's over here putting some hay in. It is uh, Wednesday. Wednesday something another. January. You can put some hay bales in. I hear the cows. They got cold on us out here now. It was pretty nice earlier, but now it done gotten cold. So the other day, Dad took the 4610 loader out to the woods. I went around the woods to move some. Apparently there was a log or two on the fence line around the woods. And anyways, he got out there to the other side and she started sputtering. Well, y'all know what that sounds like. If you don't, you're gonna learn one day. So, he made straight shot back to the barn. He made it all the way back to the shed. But he didn't get it in the shed before she completely ran out of fuel. Um, yeah. He probably should have checked the fuel before going all the way out there in the woods. But, you know, probably should have, would have, could have. Didn't happen. Um, anyways, we're going to go back here and pull start it. But while we're in the subject of right here, see this telephone pole? Well, one night, some years ago, some car come flying up the driveway, hit that telephone pole and broke it off. I mean, straight broke it. Um, then took out all that electric fence over, over here, took all that out. I have no idea who did it when, or anything about it. But they put a new pole in and we fixed the electric fence and life went on. Well, about a week or two ago, maybe longer now, this telephone pole over here fell down. One day it got really cold and that thing just fell down. Well, anyways, last night, last night it was raining and raining and raining. See that telephone pole right there? Well, it fell down. It straight fell down uh, last night with the transformer on it. And maybe it had something to do with that pole falling down. And all the rain we got made this pole weak, maybe. Couldn't tell you, don't know. All I can tell you is that pole fell down last night and knocked all the power out here. Well, they came out here, power company come out here, and basically stuck another pole in next to it and bolted the two of them together. bolted two poles together. So, and then there's a 4x4 four four stuck in the ground on this side. So I don't know what kind of job you call that. I don't know if it's temporary or permanent. But, uh, power's back on. And that's what they did last night. I mean, you're happy the power's back on, but I mean, they eventually got that pole put back up. But maybe that pole coming down had something to do with the other pole coming down. Even though they were weeks and weeks apart, you never know. I mean, it was pouring down raining all day yesterday. So, I don't know, the pole fell down. That's all I can tell you. That was quite exciting last night. Um, so we're gonna go back here and try to pull start the little loader. But figure I'd update you on the currents of the day. Anyways. Well, it's running. We cracked the bleeds through and 
let it bubble out. Pulled it with that tractor from the end of the shed. And I had it running twice before it, uh, the first time it fired off, I didn't let the clutch out fast enough. So the second time, I let the clutch out. Dad wants me to work on his knife. His razor blade is rusted up or something. Oh, you gotta push it. I turn my light on to figure out how to work on it. You gotta push it forward. Ever since we bought these kind of knives, we really ain't used much else. But you can go to Home Depot and buy these things cheap in a big old package and uh, put them in tractors and stuff. Even if you forget, you still got a knife there. Especially on a tractor you're going to be moving hay with all the time. But anyways, you never know when something happens. But I took it out and flipped it over for him. I think the other side looks alright. Well, it's running anyways. He's going to put it in the shed for right now. That way it gives us plenty of time to forget about the fact that we didn't put any fuel in it. <laughs> so, so next time somebody comes along and jumps on it, they'll forget all about it and run it out of fuel again. You know. <laughs> kind of wish we had a diesel tank back here. But we've had some back here before in the past, but it seems like they always sit around and sit around. Next thing you know, it's got water in it. And, uh, and then it messes you all up, so then you never did bother to fill it back up again or clean it out. So anyways, well, it looks like he's going to drive it on to the barn and put fuel in it anyways. Not that you can see that. Oh, 
all deep. Two ball, yeah, there's two ball diesels out here. Howdy, y'all. December the 13th. We out here in the woods. Me, Emily, and Dad and Harvester. Trying to find that cow that we uh, tried to load up the other day got away on us. These woods are so daggone dense to try to get through. I had her in my sights. Well, they hauled on up in the woods and she got up in here behind me and I, I lost sight of her. So, um, so I'd have made passes down through this thing, try to find her, but I ain't found her yet. Dad's up there looking too. He ain't found her yet. I don't know where she went to. turn around go back the other way and see if we can find her she's over that way somewhere probably i don't know do you see the cow yeah. well the cow's laying down over there we've been chasing her around for quite a while we've been chasing her around for hour and a half and she ends up back in the same spot. She's right through that tree. I don't know. You can't see her. But she's laying right up in there in the same spot that we lost her in a little while ago. We can't get her out of the woods. We did get her out into the field, but that didn't last long. We needed a fourth four-wheeler. We needed, like, another three four-wheelers and somebody capable of roping her. So, anyways, we're going to leave her alone for now because we can't do nothing with her. We can't get her out of the woods. And it's too thick in here. Too much stuff. Too much everything. No, we hadn't bought that four-wheeler. Two days later. No, we hadn't bought that four-wheeler yet. Yeah, we did. Uh-uh. You went down there with the motorcycle to get her. Yeah, but and the next day we went and bought that four wheeler. Yeah, I said when we went down to car old forty, we had that. Because I remember going through that creek down there, and the dang old water was up and up and uh, spitting water at the exhaust pipe and everything else. We had, we had that four wheeler down under the water. There was another four wheeler or two like that one, and a three wheeler, and a bunch of people, and it took us three there. hours to get that cow rounded up and locked into a trailer. It was four. And and we didn't have and the woods is nowhere near as dense as it, as this is. Did you buy this four wheeler brand new? Yep. Bought it brand new, nineteen ninety. Two days later, we had it. We had it. Uh, handlebars underwater. Buried. <laughs> handlebars down under the water. Two days later. Just for Baron's birthday, I think. Chasing that cow. Is that what I get for my birthday this year? That was old number 40. Old number 40 was a dairy cow. And you didn't get in her way in the dairy barn. She'd run you over. Because she wasn't afraid of you and she'd do it. So we finally took her to the stockyard. Well, she went on into the stockyard, took one look at them people, come back and got back on the trailer. And I was up in front of the trailer. And we were in the trailer. So she was on top of us, and she was he was climbing on top of me years ago. Check out the new fence fixer. The wife got him about four years ago. We finally got some work out of him.
Well, we gave up on cows and went to working on electric fence. The tree fell down. We just got done. We just got done cutting a bunch of trees out of the way right here. Just got time. Just one spot left. And we're going to head for the house at night. Thanks for watching, y'all.